What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. Where am I looking? The camera's everywhere. Lads, it's been, it's been weird getting back into the swing of things. You miss a couple of days and uh, everything goes different. But my OBS is acting up a little bit, so apologies if there's audio issues, if there's video issues, if there's transition issues. But anyway, look, V2.3 is upon us. I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm still in my onesie, though. I'm still in my PlayStation onesie. So we are going to be trying to get this video just to kind of discuss a little bit of uh, new stuff that has come to v2.3 so the video is going to be about 25 seconds long um there's a lot to cover but uh, no look man i, I kind of if you didn't see my video last night i mean i kind of had a bit of a rant where i was talking about like all these rumors people were saying that well look people it wasn't people saying it it was originally you know put up on in may that um like, you know, we'd be getting some sort of edit mode and we'd be getting some sort of league mode with offline teams and crossplay. But things change, man. I mean, things get pushed back. Things get brought forward. Um, you know, you only have to look at movies. You only have to look at other games. You only have to look at everything in the world of entertainment. Like, look at Cyberpunk on launch. Look at eFootball on launch. Look at Hogwarts, you know, that it's coming to PS5 and Xbox Series X first. And then it's coming to, you know, uh, PS4 and Switch and like there's just uh, game development is is very is very difficult to pin down to an exact date it seems um and no more so than eFootball at the moment so we are going to go through the new update file there isn't much in it it's mostly as i kind of said it was not going to be any modes there was not going to be anything that was really worth putting out massive promotion for or massive uh, massive kind of like hype for um i think they've added a lot of kind of like things that needed to be fixed we are going to be testing out the gameplay as well um and i'm hoping to live stream as well so make sure you keep an eye on that but we will start with a roundup of everything and then we'll get into v2.3 um specifically v2.3 so it says here that in v2.3 it's now available i think it was like about what four gig i think it was four gig on ps5 it said it has updated the player roster for certain brazilian league clubs updated various player and manager data Following data has also been updated, strips, media backdrops, pitch, pitch side advertising boards, boots, commentary, and photos, uh, gameplay fixes and adjustments. So I suppose this is probably the biggest one that everybody is going to be looking at. Dribbling to me has felt really off in the last two weeks, uh, so it's nice to see that that's front and center of the first gameplay fix. Where they say implemented adjustments so that players will be less likely to move away from the ball when they make contact with an opponent while dribbling uh i don't really know what that means in a run by run play of things but i kind of understand what they're trying to say with it they've also implemented adjustments to a hand enhanced maneuverability following a sharp touch again a lot of people don't use sharp touch and they should implemented adjustments regarding body contact so that shield will only be triggered when within a certain distance yeah so that was a big uh, a big a big thing that they were going to be working on was the shield was that somebody could be like you know have 10 feet of space and they do the shield and they just back up like they were doing the zombie dance, you know, like Triller, Michael Jackson. Um, so it's now going to be more contextual, which could open up a couple of other issues or it could fix certain issues. Who knows? Implemented adjustments so that when inputting a ball touch command, as well as a shield command at times of ball contention, the ball touch command input will now be prioritized. In instances of possession lost due to the shield command being prioritized would be reduced. Okay, so this just means that you're, you're, what you are actually trying to do with the ball rather than what you're trying to do with your body will be more prioritized that's basically the, the what they're trying to say there um so the ball is going to be more centric passing implement adjustments so that when inputting the pass command a more adequate target will be selected with respect okay that's good that's good implemented adjustments so that true passes will now be played through spaces that are harder for defenders to intercept okay that's fair enough that's fair enough the passing lanes are way too clogged at the moment man especially like if you play i think the new meta formation and i'm going to be doing a video on it is kind of three four three that's kind of the formation or three five two that's the formation that i was looking at uh it's very similar to the five three two or five two three but it's um it's just literally just like super congested in the middle of the pitch so it's very hard to do anything with it implemented adjustments so that players will now move uh oh no sorry where am i going passing implemented adjustments uh, so that when a player makes body contact as he jumps for a header it is now less likely for the player to lose his balance okay yeah well you see a lot of those kind of neck breaks back breaks leg breaks where the player would go up and he do a flip in the air and then fall um traps a lot of people don't use traps man and i definitely think you should if you've got a fast player you don't need to 
you know, you don't need to be holding sprint as he gets the ball. You can literally stop the ball and then accelerate. Like what I usually like to do is if I'm not going to beat somebody from pace, I like maybe auto cancel or else I'll do a fake shot, stop and then burst off in another area of pace or else just turn around and then, you know, one touch pass again and go in the overlap. But anyway, implemented adjustments so that players will now move to an adequate position in anticipation of ink of oncoming mid-air balls in a quicker manner. Okay, that's good. In scenarios where directional input is in, is performed at the same time with a cross command just before the player traps the ball, directional key input could be registered as a ball touch instead. Okay, well, that's a big one, man. That's a big one because that has cost me so many goals, so many goals. Basically, when you were like, if you're, the ball is coming to you, right? If basically if the ball is coming to you and it comes from like a ricochet or something in the back line, you get a you know a parry out from the keeper or it ricochets between your center backs and it falls to your DMF or falls back to your center back, your left back, you are holding, you know, you're obviously holding the left button. Whoops, you're holding the left or right or up or down on the directional pad because you want to kind of, you know, clear the ball or pass the ball in that certain position. But instead of it actually registering that that's what you're trying to do it was taking a touch. So you were taking a dribble, getting caught in position and getting conceded on uh, or getting scored on. Um, implemented that. Yeah, that's a huge one, man, for me. That's a huge one for me, in fairness. Uh, implemented. Where am I gone, lads? I'm all over the place. Uh, as such, adjustments were implemented so that when players try to trap the ball at a certain speed, these combinations will not affect the direction of the and ball touch and players will play across right, before, right after taking a touch. That's going to be interesting. So basically what they're saying here is they've tried to bring back dribbling and crossing that's kind of what they've tried to bring back here that's what it looks like to me so this update could suit me man it could suit me on my wing play defense there isn't much on defense lads i don't like to see that implemented adjustments to the trigger and conditions of block emotions when defenders to the trigger and okay so why certain players why certain players contextually block the ball or jump in front of the ball and how often it is uh adjustments to that fix the issue regarding man marking where players that positioning may be unnatural when the opposition is attacking deep in the team's own half okay implemented adjustments regarding man marking so that players will now position themselves more adequately with respect to the player's position and implemented adjustments to the position yeah i had seen i had seen a big issue with the man marking i came up against the guy yesterday and i was playing just a one-off two i was playing two matches and uh he basically had seven at the back because he was playing a five at the back and he was man marking me with his DMF and his CMF. So every time I was running at him, he had seven across the back. It was crazy. Fix the issue regarding offside decisions where if a foul is committed immediately after an offside, as a result, body count, a foul is prioritized and hence a foul is called instead of the offside. Okay, that's pretty decent. I haven't seen that happen a lot. Fix the issue regarding foul decisions where a foul may be called if the player who is first to call makes a slight body contact with the opposition player yeah that's another thing where if you're running like if you're crossing and you clip off the player sometimes they can call that as a foul so look they are listening man they are listening to certain gameplay things they're focusing on gameplay things because people are playing the game and i said this last night in the video there is a brand new audience that are playing this game and loving dream team that don't care about master league they don't care about edit mode they don't care about like not that they don't care about it man but it's kind of like expecting a warzone player to you know like demand a first person like experience or a first player experience you know what i mean or like expecting a fortnite player like they don't know anything else like they're playing warzone to play exactly what warzone is they're playing e-football to play exactly what e-football is a free to play dream team fix the issue with ai regarding ai matches where matches perform in defensive scenarios but the ai control team may sometimes be unnatural fix the issue where players with the anchorman playing style may position themselves in an unnaturally forward position uh, even if all other players track back into their own half, I think that was a bit of an issue, a bug. But I didn't see that happen pretty much barely ever to me. Um, fix the issue where players with the anchorman playing style may chase the opposition ball holder all the way around to a forward position. Yeah, instead of just sitting in his anchorman position, implement adjustments so the player to track back will go into wider positions to attempt to gain possession. Again, I hadn't really seen that massively. I know a few people were complaining about that, a few streamers and stuff, but I hadn't seen that too much uh, myself personally. And then we also have this. Other gameplay enhancements. Fix an issue where the cursor may unnecessarily sw switch even when cursor change is set to semi-assist. And then we have our global improvements. Adjustments to the transi transition speed of screens. Enhancements to online matchmaking. That sounds good. A variety of minor adjustments have been made to each mode of match with the aim of improving the gaming experience. Uh, and then basically the rest of it is just kind of like... Um, yeah, just kind of other 
stuff that doesn't really make a difference to the gameplay. I mean, you can have a read through of that yourself, lads. Look, at the end of the day, man, right, there is a lot of stuff that they are working on. There is a lot of stuff. We've discovered an issue where certain players can perform double touch feint in quick succession. Yeah, well, I mean, that was that was a big issue before where people were double touching into double touching into double touching. That's That's been, you know, something that's been going on for ages. But look, lads, at the end of the day, right, I mean, I kind of said it last night in the video. Like, we just need to put a bit of logic to it. Whether we like it or not, right, at the moment, eFootball 23 is Dream Team 23 and Dream Team 23 is eFootball 23. There's no discrepancy between the two of them. There's no difference between the two of them at the moment. You're not playing this game to play authentic matches after each other, after each other, after each other. Yeah, the events sometimes are good. I mean, this is what it's at at the moment. It's about players. It's about, you know, packs. It's about, you know... And look, I like eFootball, man. I'm going to look forward to playing in V2.3 because, you know, um, I'm really giving it, I'm really going to give it a good go and I've enjoyed the actual core experience of it. But in terms of where the mode is and in terms of like Pez, you know, 21 and like I still see on Twitter today, you know, oh, bring back Pez. I hope they bring back Pez. I hope they do this. They hope they do that. Right. I mean, we just need to have a little bit of logic about it. I think especially with this one, you know, I saw yesterday before I did my video last night, uh, which I'll leave a link in the description. I saw people, you know, there was people messaging me saying, oh, yeah, you know, I saw this guy say that edit mode was going to be coming tomorrow. You just can't say it because, you know, you, you don't want to you don't want to say it and you don't want to do this. You don't want to do that. And I'm like, I don't want to say it because I know it's not coming. You know what I mean? I don't want to say to everybody, lads, like edit mode is 100 percent, 100 percent not coming tomorrow. And like it's not going to be coming. You know what I mean? Before 2022. Like I don't want to say that a month ago or two months ago because like it's you just have to have your own logic to it. And when I can talk about things, I will talk about things. So yeah, that is it for V2.3 update changes, lads. We're going to get into a bit of gameplay uh, in another video and hopefully see what it looks like. And uh, yeah, I will talk to you in a bit. Peace.